My name is Leslie Clark and I live in Las Vegas, Nevada. I have been a pretty consistent conservative Republican most of my life, until about 10 years ago, when it seemed like politics was really getting polarized and divisive and messy. And I stopped paying attention. I didn't even vote in the last two presidential elections. I did, however, notice that Donald Trump had been elected president and uh, which I found sort of interesting because he'd always been comic relief to me. Uh, but then I went back to not paying attention until earlier this year when the coronavirus started to emerge. I'm 69 years old and I have mild COPD. And I thought to myself, boy, Leslie, you ought to be paying attention. So I started to watch the president's daily briefings. I was astounded at how undignified he is. Um, how unpresidential. He does these long self-grandizing rants that go nowhere. The way he treats the press and other people. Wow. I was, I was amazed. Uh, but I hung in there until he suggested that we inject ourselves with disinfectant. That was it for me. Um, and then when I watched that man die on the streets of Minneapolis, and the president did absolutely nothing to bring us together, to, to hold ourselves as human beings here in this country. He brought nothing but hate, bigotry, and racism, and his flaunting of the law. I'm going to vote for Joe Biden, not because Joe and I have a lot in common, we don't, but I do think he's the better man for the job, and I'll do almost anything to get Trump out of office. I'm embarrassed to be a Republican. I'm somewhat ashamed to be white these days, and I'm embarrassed to be an American. And I don't know if I'll ever forgive the Republican leadership for supporting and allowing him to do this to my party.